Well, hello boys and girls. It's uh, here I am in the basement again. It's evening time. I have uh, I have put all the uh, masseuses to uh, tuck them all into their resting places so they can be well rested for their uh, hours of service that they put in tomorrow, of course. Um, I've been putting in videos about once a week now in the summer. Uh, I feel that my procrastination level is reaching its uh, ba perfectly balanced point. I, I don't think I could procrastinate much more. I'm going to try. I, I'm going to put every effort I can into to, to soaking out every ounce of procrastination I have in me for you. But uh, as of right now, I think it's at a perfect, pretty much a perfect balance. Um, we're getting to the end of our series of uh, each NHL hockey team for the summer because there's only not long and the season's going to be starting, boys and girls. And I know you're on the edge of your seat to find out what I'm about to say about the New Jersey Devils uh, and have been for quite some time. I get the letters. I just, um, uh, Bailey Ron, Bailey Ron Brandt, Bra Bailey Ron Brandt asked, uh, um, how come you're only doing videos once a week? I, I, I don't know what to do with myself, she said, she asked, he asked, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, he asked. And the answer, Bailey, is because, as I said, I have uh, been focusing on my procrastination levels and bringing them to where they need to be. Uh, but let's get to the New Jersey Devil, shall we? Uh, if we, um, there, uh, the pearls of wisdom will fall on your lap instantaneously. Be well lubed, though. Make sure you are well lubed, boys and girls. Heine's Body Lube, it's the best there. I said it. All right, forwards, forwards for the New Jersey Devils. Uh, I've taken this off of the hockey news, the, the depth charts from the hockey news. That generally goes, they get that from, um, from what I understand. They, they actually talk to teams, and teams give them an idea of what they think their depth chart is like. I don't necessarily agree with it, so I've switched it around a bit, but I'll tell you how I did it, what I did to switch it around um, as I go. Um, the first pairing that they have, or the first line that they have, is Hall, Zajac, Zajac and Palmieri. And you can't really go with that. Although I've heard, you know, is Heischer going to play with Hall? Uh, is Heischer even going to make it this year? You know what? Heischer may not. It's close. He's got the skill level that he probably will, but I think he's going to be playing pretty guarded minutes. Um, just because of his size, uh, his physical maturity, they're going to have to guard him a little bit. And although I do believe he'll play with Hull throughout the year, not all year. He's, they'll, they'll put him up and down and stuff like that. Uh, more than likely, this is about right. Zayak will with Palmieri and Hall, which really makes it tough for Hall because Zayak is really not a uh, first line center um, hasn't been for a while but has been playing so in New Jersey because they're so weak there um, hopefully Heischer can become I've heard rumblings that he's like a Pavelski type player and from what I've watched that's fairly uh, accurate um, or it could be that he, he has a high side to that but he also could be just a Nielsen type player as well it, it, there's a it's, there's a high risk high reward with uh, Heischer that uh, is going to be interesting to watch. Talking about him, now I have, um, they have Adam Onarik on the second line um, with Johansson and Stafford. Um, I would put Heischer here at least the beginning of the season, um, play him in offensive zone and see what he can do. Uh, Onarik is really, he's more of a third line player. Um, another thing that they have, I think he's a third line center. Um, again, he's played higher than his role in New Jersey because they are so weak, have been so weak up the middle. I'd like to say that with these forwards, what they're producing here, we know they're not, New Jersey's not going to make the playoffs next year, but they're um, putting together a team a lot like the LA Kings of their heyday, just for, um, and it's a big, solid, strong, defensively minded uh, team that is going to be a handful really soon. Um, they have Zaka in, playing up the middle, but I think he's going to play on the left side again one more year. 
uh, that would be Zaka, Henrique, and Spears. And that is actually a really good third line. Zaka is, was not given enough credit because he only got 24, 25 points last year. But he played really, really well for a first-year player. I see him probably getting in the 35-point to point, point, four, 35 point range this year. And has high side to even be higher. I really like his game, though. He's got a lot of skill for a big man. And I think his upside could be off the charts. I think you could see him be, get some 60-point seasons uh, in the future. It's possible. He has that ability to do it. He's an interesting package for sure. Um, so for now the fourth line, um, they picked up Boyle. Um, I think they had Boyle on the third line. Uh, the I don't know why. I don't think Boyle should be playing the thir third line if he absolutely can help it. I think he's an excellent fourth line center. And then they're young Quinville and Neeson, and that is a really interesting line. Um, a lot of people are talking New Jersey down, and they, sh and, I mean, they are a poor team in a, in a sense, but there's some interesting mixes happening in their forward ranks, and um, it they might be a team that's going to lose to, to a fair amount, I would say. But it's going to be an interesting team to watch, for sure. It's going to be interesting to watch these kids grow. And I don't think they're as far away as people think about uh, becoming uh, playoff contenders as soon as they fix their, fix their defense, which we'll get to. Then the, the depth at forward still has a lot of work. You've got Wood, Blendisi, Lapping, uh, but Lappin, but um, and they all have an interesting skill set, especially Lappin. I, I really kind of like his game for a fourth liner. I, he'll play in the league for sure. Blind DC has got to find his niche. He's sort of a vanilla player, and um, and it's starting to run out his his options here in New Jersey. It's not that New Jersey doesn't have good. New Jersey has some fairly decent depth as far as NHL players up the middle and um, it's getting to the point where he it doesn't look like he's going to find his role here in New Jersey. I think you could see him out this year as soon as this year. Um, but they could still use a lot more depth but the whole mix of those forwards um, they all have the same type of game um, that is a type of game that can in the future will get you playoffs like Zaka, Henrique, uh, uh, the uh, bringing in Johansson. These are these are tough, hard nose, hard hard playing players that will play a type of game that you'll enjoy watching, boys and girls. Getting their defense, we're already up to eight minutes, so I'm going to do it quick because there's not much to talk about. Uh, they have Green, Lovejoy, Moore, Severson, DeBlanco. DeBlanco, I don't know where I, he's barely going to be an NHL player. I think he's more like a five six. They got him from Russia. He's a defensive guy who had a really good year last year. Um, but he just serves in the mix of some guys that are sketchy. Like um, they brought in Mueller from San Jose. Santini, how his role is going to be. Is he going to be able to take the next step? We're not sure. Butcher, they got out of college. They got a lot of question marks on their defense. Um, I don't. I think he put Severson above Green now. I think Green has actually lost a lot of his game. Uh, Lovejoy is, should be playing further down here, but they, he's going to be playing in a 3-4. And this is their biggest problem and has been for a while. Um, Moore as well shouldn't be in a top four role, and this is what's killing them. They're going to have to find some defense, uh, maybe by maybe eventually having to trade some forwards if they can't find any through the draft. But uh, that be um, And Schneider, honestly, this is the thing, boys and girls. I love Schneider. But I think they need to give the guy a chance to go win now that he's 30-some years old. And I hate, I know you guys are hating it, but you can always pick up another goaltender right now. New Jersey needs to work towards becoming great and not being great. Uh, I think Schneider actually hurts their what they're trying to do now as far as, but you still need to find a goaltender in return. I'll think of a trade that might work there, boys and girls, and bring it to you, but I'm getting long in the tooth here, and I'm pretty sure I'm feeling like, yep, 42%. I've given you my full 42. That's all I got. Have a great day, everyone. Lots of love to you.